Yeah, chocks and chocolates, and then in between chocolate bits here for another video review. It's a very special one. It's the Milka Strawberry Cheesecake. Yes, look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, it's one of the sort of, guess what you'd call, if Cadbury did it, the big taste uh, range of bars. It's really nice, doesn't it? I mean, I got this from there. Uh, I got this in Italy, actually. It might be available in the UK, but I got it from Italy Airport, basically, Rome Airport. And I think it was, oh, yeah, I think maybe W. H. Smith there or something like that. I'm not sure what it was, but it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. I love where the slice of cheesecake doesn't really look a million miles away from this, does it? I mean, I know it's not going to look like this in hand, of course, but it just, I don't know. It really lends itself well, doesn't it? So fingers crossed it's uh, not going to disappoint this one, but it really does look very nice. It's got a special golden finish as well that uh, some of these larger Milka bars have. Um, it does look really lovely, as I say. It's a 300 gram bar. Look at 300 grams. Goodness me, that's uh, <laughs> not a small bar. Alpine milk chocolate filled with a cheesecake flavour filling, 35%. A strawberry, what's that say? Preparation. <laughs> that's unusual. Way of putting it, a strawberry preparation, 11%, and a layer of biscuits, 13%. Okay, so it's got palm oil there, you can see. Strawberry puree, 1.5%. Cream cheese powder, 1%. Wow. And a few other things as well. Milk chocolate contains cocoa solids, 30% minimum. Milk solids, 18% minimum. May contain other nuts and egg. What I've got for calories? Well, if I lift the uh, bottom up, the flap, you can see. So, per 100 grams, 528 calories, 29 grams of fat, 17 of which are saturates. Per 33.3 grams, four chunks, 176 calories, 9.8 grams of fat, 5.6 of which are saturates. So quite a lot there. So basically the whole bar is three times that. So it's 1,500, what's that? 1,556, 1,584 I think it is. Something like that. So quite high in calories I think. So easy to eat the whole bar of this but you've got to remember it's uh, pretty much you know a day's worth of calories. Well, you know you can say about a lot of things I guess but uh, clearly clearly quite uh, calorific. Looks lovely as well. I love the look of it as I say. Lovely metallic gold on there. The bar looks really nice and lovely. It really works well with the cheesecake there as well. Just a bit of alpine milk chocolate. The milk cacao. A different background this time. It doesn't always often have a background like that, which is a bit more of a bigger background like this one here that I just reviewed before. So interesting, yeah. I'm gonna say a big dome of uh, look like a cherry actually that doesn't it? But there we go <laughs> to an extent. But obviously strawberries. Bit of flourishes on it, but um, other than that, I think looks very nice. Lovely purple, milk of purple here as well. But yeah, I think we need to get into this and give it an open. So uh, let's do it. <laughs> let's give it an open. Okay, well, I'm going to give this Milka Strawberry Cheesecake an open. Yeah, it looks, uh, does look very indulgent, doesn't it? It has to be said, it really does. Yeah, so time recording, I've done about, um, what have I done? About 820 reviews, I think, believe it or not. So uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. In the top right-hand corner, I've got a link to a place of all my other reviews. There are some related ones, such as other Milka reviews and things like this. So uh, after you watch this one, go check those out. Hope you enjoyed those too. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. So there's a bit of... Uh, See a bit of hmm, grease coming through there. You can actually see the way my if you catch the light right there. The way my fingers kind of be able to draw in it almost. It's, it has a bit of a yeah, obviously a bit of the uh, cream cheese or something coming through because it does smell a bit of cream cheese as well. And look at this, it's a massive bar, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Now I do prefer mascarpone with my cheesecake, so this one we might have cream cheese, which is kind of like Philadelphia or something. I'm not sure it's quite as nice that generally. I find that to be a bit, um, a bit too, I don't know, tart to be the right word. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So I don't know. Hmm. Not sure. But let's uh, let's persevere on anyway. So you can see it's a bit too long for the plate as well. Let's try and give it a bit of a measure. It's even too long for my ruler. Almost. Almost. We'll measure it at the bottom. Um, maybe at the top, it's not quite as wide at the top as the bottom. It's just over 26 centimetres, 26.1 centimetres wide there. But at the top, goes down to about 25 and a half actually. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of space there. Hmm. You can see, I'll say, because it's not straight at the sides. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I might just, uh, yeah, I think I'll do the width from here. So it's about 8. Nine, 8.8 .8 centimeters in width there, maybe almost 8.9. Let's do it with the calipers actually. Let's see what they say. Yeah, 8.9. <laughs> yeah, right, a bit more accurate, almost there, nine centimeters there, so a bit more accurate perhaps. So then the height as well. Of course, it's not going to be as wide at the top, the calipers aren't quite as accurate here. But about 8.6 there. 
here. And we're seeing about 8.5 over 8.5. So I guess the calipers might be a bit more accurate. It's difficult to say they weren't quite at the top though. I did the calipers, so 8.5 might be a bit better in this case. And then what else is there? Yes, and then the, the height as well, as I say. So it's in between the uh, the chunks into the trough at 1.1 almost, 1.06. Okay, so let's give it a bit of a snap then. So let's see. Oh, wow, a bit of a crunch there. And there's me, yes. No sign of any strawberry there. If it focuses in a bit better. So clearly it's right at the top. Definitely a bit of biscuit and a sort of cream cheese filling there. Let's see if we can um, you know, get a segment. See the actual uh, the actual strawberry on it. I would expect it to have seen it really by now. Hmm. I hope there's a bit more than that implies, but let's uh, do a bit of a chop. Okay, so you can see it there. Not, I guess there's quite a lot of it. Let's see. I'm focusing in a bit more on the back in the background, but you can see there. Yeah, definitely a reasonable amount of strawberry there, actually. It's definitely uh, right in the top of each segment. Not too, too bad. I guess it would have maybe preferred a bit more but it's not so bad and you can see it's kind of quite runny as well look at that oh so not bad at all that mm. okay yeah looks looks pretty good that okay there you go so yeah straw's focusing for a bit there but you can see quite a good amount of strawberry jam type filling there too too bad yeah inside the uh Chocolate cover. Coming away a bit more. It's difficult to show it really. It doesn't really lend itself to coming away from the top very well. I don't think there's loads in there because it doesn't. It's only right in the centre as well. So I've took away the bit at the edge. It doesn't imply that there wasn't too much there. You can see there's, there's a good amount, but I feel like the, there could be more. It definitely looks like the sort of strawberry jam or. Well, Sauce. <laughs> this is more of a sauce, isn't it? But they're using some of the other milk of bars. Come on, it's called now. Is it just milk of strawberries and cream or something? I'm not sure really, but yeah, it definitely looks a bit like that. So if that's true, then it's going to taste a bit like the sort of strawberry sauce you put on ice creams and things. So, but that's always a good thing. <laughs> okay, let's give it a taste. I think I'm uh, very much ready for this. So let's uh, see what it tastes like. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, going to give this milk of strawberry cheesecake uh, chocolate bar a taste. Very excited for this one. Looks lovely. A bit worried that it'll be um, very cream cheesy though. I mean. You know, it's in sort of Philadelphia style taste to it. I'm kind of, I don't know, I prefer mascarpone for uh, my cheesecakes, really. You know, sort of Philadelphia, I'm not a massive fan of. So we'll see what it tastes like. It looks lovely. You can see there's bits of uh, strawberry jam or strawberry sauce coming through there at the top. Not much, though. I would expect a bit more than that, but hmm. Well, unless it's there, so that's good. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, give it a go, shall we? So I've got one uh, segment here, so let's give it a taste. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Wow. Well. Mmm, it definitely does um, evoke a taste of strawberry cheesecake, that's for sure. Mmm, interesting. I think the um, cream cheese side of it is a bit Philadelphia-like. It's it's okay. Mmm. Uh, that raspberry sauce, and it works well with the cheesecake taste. Mmm. The cream cheese taste. I think it's just a bit too Philadelphia-like for me, rather than a mascarpone taste. I'm not sure, though. It's got that sort of, I don't know, bittery taste to it. Mm. I definitely wish there was a bit more strawberry jam in it. Mm. Or strawberry sauce. I think the crunch is very nice. It doesn't taste like um, a biscuit base as such. It's more just like a crunchy biscuit. Mm. Obviously, use that with uh, the other milk bars, presumably the other Max ones that they've got. It has a similar filling. Yeah, like this one, for instance. <laughs> this one, the chocolate and biscuit one. A similar sort of affair. Um, you can clearly see there's a bit of a relation there going on. <laughs> well, you get the idea. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, interesting though, interesting, yeah. This one's pretty good, I'd say. I just wish there was a bit more strawberry sauce in it, really. Let's just try. So I did cut it down. It's not bad or anything, you know, it's not bad. You can see, though, that there's just not loads of it and I think it's just because it's the sort of cream cheese flavour it's just quite strong it does quite overpower it quite a lot but I guess you'd expect that from a cheesecake I mean it's meant to taste like that or the cheese flavour anyway you would expect that to be the prominent taste mmm 
Yeah, it very much is. Hmm. I think for me it's just a bit, um, I don't know, I prefer if it's just a bit more of a sort of a, a higher quality cheese taste rather than a sort of, I don't know, a, a sort of Philadelphia style one. Hmm. But, I think it still works pretty well. It's got a lovely crunch to it, which I really like. It's nice chocolate as well, although you don't really notice chocolate too, too much. I think the cream cheese flavour is, is pretty strong in it. I like the strawberry sauce as well. I think that's nice, but it's not massively prominent. You know, as I say, here's a good example of here, this dissection. See the biscuit at the bottom there. Quite a thick biscuit layer. Quite a thin chocolate. And a reasonably thick layer of cream cheese. And then you can see the strawberry sort of sauce is kind of... You know, see if I just move some of the chocolate. It's there, but it's sort of indented into the into a sort of like little nook of the cream cheese really which then raises a bit higher at the sides so it's not as i wish it was a bit more of it really i think and i think that would definitely work a lot better in my eyes mm. Mm. but um i think it does give a unique flavor and it does come across as strawberry cheesecake to an extent you know as much as you'd expect from this mm. I say I just wish that the cream cheese part was a bit a bit nicer in my view, but you might what people are expecting from a cheesecake. You know, I say a lot of people will have it with Philadelphia's rather than sort of mascarpone centre. But if you went to like a restaurant or something and you got a cheesecake, you would have one really with mascarpone in it or something a bit more like that, rather than a Philadelphia style cheesecake, which for me is not quite as nice. But um, you know, it's probably what I'd expect from this one to be a bit more sort of cream cheesy in that regard, more Philadelphia like. So for me, I don't know, I think if it was mascarpone, you were talking very high rating there. But for me, this one, I think it's got good proportions to it. I like the biscuit, the crunch from it. It's not really like a, a cheesecake base, but it's obviously evocative of one. The cream cheese is definitely the most prominent flavour, and I think you'd probably expect that really. But for me, as I say, I just wish it was a mascarpone type affair, but I can understand why it isn't. And the strawberry sauce is, is very nice as well, but there's just not enough of it really. So I think it's kind of a bit of a, I don't know. I think for some people they'll love it really, it's the gist of it, but I think for me, I wish the cream cheese was a bit a bit of a higher quality, but I can kind of understand why it isn't, but I just wish it was, and I think if it was, it would be a far better bar, but I think that goes without saying, doesn't it, and you could probably argue that for many points, but I think uh, as a result of it, it does have a bit of a negative impact on it to an extent, so it's not quite the 5 out of 5 I think it probably would have been had it had mascarpone in it, as I say, I can understand why that's not there. <laughs> Many reasons, really. A solid bar, really nice. I mean, it definitely ticks the strawberry cheesecake box. But um, as I say, that slight issue with the cream cheese taste being a bit too Philadelphia tasting for me just kind of detracts a bit rather than makes it taste like a beautiful uh, cheesecake flavour, which a mascarpone sort of filling would have had. But as I say, that probably be too expensive to put in and maybe far too fattening as well. But, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure that would stop milk or anything, but who knows. So, yeah, for me, it would have always been a five, I think, pretty much, if it had that sort of mascarpone-style flavour to it. But still really nice, and I think for some people, this would definitely tick the strawberry cheesecake box. I just wish there was a bit more strawberry sauce as well. Still a very good, solid strawberry cheesecake experience in chocolate bar form. But far to five. Okay guys, so we enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out YouTube and Prime. Great support the channel really is. Click on one of these links that's appearing around now. Great support the channel by checking out my other videos. Are you check out the YouTube member program as well? Link for that's in the description. Great support the channel really is and get some perks no what till you pick. Check out the Discord server as well, link for that's also in the description, which is a great way to keep in touch with myself and be part of the community. I'll leave a comment off free as well. I always do my best to reply. Uh, and have a great day as well, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye for now.